Hello YouTube, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to cover the HLOOKUP function. Very similar to the VLOOKUP function that we covered in our previous video. So we're going to show you two examples on how the HLOOKUP uh, is used. So as you see here we have uh, a table, uh, a business class profile, and we are going to use the, VLOOK, uh, the HLOOKUP to populate the income by state but we also going to use the HLOOKUP to populate the home price by state the income price I mean the income by states uh, the table is down below but the home price by states the table is in a different table so the HLOOKUP that we're gonna use it's gonna be within the same worksheet but also uh, in a different worksheet so let's get to it. So for income, basically the way the H lookup works, you click OK, uh, equal H lookup. And the first thing that it asks you is the lookup value. The lookup value is what value are you looking for in order for you to return uh, an item, right? Here we're looking for the income for Alabama. So I'll click Alabama, then a comma it's asking me for a table array this is we have to tell Excel where does the information reside in order for us to get a return so we want for the income we know the information is in this table therefore we're gonna select the entire table so the table is selected then we are going to put a comma then it asks us for the, the raw uh, index so the item that we're looking for is here Alabama but the return value that we want is the income which is uh, one row below our uh, search criteria therefore the raw index number it's going to be two then it asks us for a range lookup basically to tell them if we want to return an approximate match or if we want an exact match so we want to have an exact match for the income for Alabama so I'm gonna put false and I'll put enter so for uh, Alabama the income is 44,765 and we can verify in the table it is correct so now I can drag it down but I'm going to get an error and the reason why I'm getting an error is because the table array that I selected I did not lock it down so uh, in order for you to lock down the table this is how you do it so I can go back to my first uh, the first H lookup that I use for Alabama and I will put a dollar sign before the table another dollar sign and I'll click enter now if I drag it down everything so this table array does not change regardless of how far I drag my initial uh, selection so this is how you use the H lookup for the on price we're gonna do very similar so equal H lookup it asks us for the lookup value so we want to look for the on price for uh, Alabama so I'll select this cell comma and it asks us for the table array so telling Excel where is the information will be coming from and as mentioned before it's going to be in a different tab the on price so I click on the tab and this is the table that we have so I'm gonna select the entire table okay once I select that uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that I lock my table down by putting the dollar sign then I put a comma and it's asking me for uh, my index number so basically my index number here is 
uh, it's going to be 2 because the um price is the second row in that table so this is the first row and this is the second row so I'll put 2 and since I want the exact match I'm gonna say false enter so the on price for Alabama is 129,800 just for you to double check that it's pulling the data correctly you can go to on price and look for Alabama and here it is 121,800 so now I can populate I can just drag it down because my table array was locked down and here we are so we populated everything that we needed so the good thing about HLOOKUP or the VLOOKUP is that once you set your formula correctly now if I change my uh, if I ch if I change the state to uh, let's say uh, Washington for instance so for the income it gives me NA because in this table I don't have uh, Washington but if I look for on prices on the table with on prices I have it for all 51 states and Washington is included 277 so once the once the formula is put in correctly you don't have to worry about uh, any uh, formula changes because uh, it's already pointing to your table array well thanks for watching and uh, drop a like a comment if you like to see more content any topic that you would like to to see please let us know and uh, we'll see you at the next video please subscribe